Peace family. Welcome back to our credit healing channel. So today we will be answering several questions from one of our credit healing clients. Um, we're going to say that her name is Leah. Uh, we don't want to basically disclose any personal information about this client, but she has several questions that she has asked us and we want to be able to answer them for her. Now let's delve into the questions. Leah says, I want to start off by saying that you have done a fantastic job in helping me clean up my credit. My credit score literally went up since yesterday. I have still a bit to go and I had a few questions that I need your expert opinion on. Question number one, how do I remove the name and her name from my Equifax report? It was placed on there several years ago and that is someone who has stolen my identity. It is inaccurate and I would like to have it contested and removed. That's actually a very good question. Now, one of the simplest ways to get false or incorrect names removed from your credit report is by calling the credit bureaus. And the reason why is because you get someone immediately, if you know how to get to someone immediately, but once you get there, you can let them know that that name is incorrect and within 30 days, they're going to get it removed and it's pretty much free. Now to dispute certain items from your credit report, you have to go about another way, which we recommend doing the paper route because you can, you have a paper trail um, and you also have proof that you have disputed those items. So we don't recommend calling in to dispute Aaron, remove those items. Question number two, web bank, which is also finger hut has been paid off today as of June 15, 2022. And under the comment section, it says, TransUnion canceled by Granter. This is inaccurate. The account was canceled by the Granter in favor of a Fetty account in which the limit is higher and was just raised. Experian says account closed due to inactivity. Incorrect also. Equifax says accounts closed by grantor charge i don't like the wording is there anything we can do about this to make them change the wording under the comments yes emphatically yes now in order to get them to change the comments we have to send out dispute letters and be very specific in regard to what we want them to do right so when we send out our dispute letters to the credit bureaus we tell them specifically exactly what we want them to do when it comes to that particular item. So we have to make sure that we are direct and we know exactly what we're doing when we are disputing because we don't want them to change it to something else that we don't that we did not want on our credit report. And then what what will happen is that basically that'll cause more issues. So be specific in regard to how you want them to change the item and the comments and also what you want them to change it to. So it'll be very, very specific when you're going about disputing and having them change the comments or an account. Question number three, Westlake Financial. I don't like the comments TransUnion and Experian reported. Experian is a flat out lie. The car was most certainly not a redeemed repossession. It was actually paid off by the insurance company. Equifax is the only one that was reported correctly. The account was closed and paid off and has a zero balance. Let's see if we can convince TransUnion and Experian to change their wording. I will call them if need be. Please let me know what needs to be done. Yes, so in this particular regard, the best thing to do is to dispute it and have them make the correction. If this particular item was not a redeemed repossession and it was paid off by the insurance company, then we have to make sure that, that they know this. Now, we don't really want them to say that the item or the repossession was paid off by the insurance company. We want to get it removed. We want to get it removed because this item was a repossession and obviously it was paid by the insurance company, then that means that it wasn't quote unquote repossessed, but we don't want any association with this particular account as it relates to a repossession on your credit report. So to answer your question, 
yes, we can dispute it, but we need to make sure that we dispute it properly. We don't want them to say, well, it was a redeemed repossession or it was repossessed and then paid off. No, we want it to be completely removed from your credit report, especially if it was uh, paid off by an insurance company. Question number four, Department of Education. I have five open accounts. I'm wondering if I should pay off three of them to raise my credit to look better. Or do you think it would be better to see regular payments on them? Currently, they all are in good standing. This is also a very good question. Now, in short, if you have a student loan or any type of loan, if it's past three months, I would highly recommend that you just pay it off. You pay off all five of them instead of three, because for one, you don't want for their extra interest to be tacked on every month. So if you have the funds that are available, go ahead and take care of that. If you want to take out a different loan later, then you can do that. But it's going to boost your scores once these loans are paid off. There are times if you say, for instance, pay off um, all of your loans, which obviously she has different, more accounts open, but that can also temporarily lower your scores because the FICO scoring system wants you to have a good mixture of credit. So then when you have credit cards, loans, um, and other things as well, and what's going to happen is that this is going to strengthen your credit is going to build up your credit. So if you do have student loans, go ahead and pay it off because you don't want to have to pay off the extra interest uh, over the course of months and years. So you can go ahead and just take care of it. So just pay those loans off and don't worry about it and build up your credit. Question number five, Omega RMS balance $3,369. This was a get rich scheme that was supposed to be a fast track education to teach me how to start an online business. It was sent to collections because I didn't finish the course and I didn't have the money to make the payments at the time. What do you think I should do about this? Now, I would need more details about the contractual agreement um, for this particular account because what can happen is that we can dispute it, but if we don't necessarily know what we're disputing, then it can be an issue for us to get it removed. So for this particular account, we would need more information. Um, I would need to get a contractual agreement uh, from you that you sign, and then I have to read over it. And then after I read over it, I'll be able to better assist you with being able to understand um, the best route for this particular account. So we're gonna talk about this, sister. Um, just bear with me and we're going to take care of it for you. Question number six, TSI 4 slash 940 Reliant Energy Balance $940. In the comment section, it says TransUnion Dispute Resolved Reported by Granter Experian Account was in dispute, now resolved, reported by subscriber. There is no information for Equifax. I was hoping that the entire file could be deleted like Equifax did. Can you make TransUnion and Experian do that? Absolutely. So if it was removed from Equifax, which is sometimes can be one of the toughest credit bureaus to get certain items removed, we can do it for TransUnion and Experian as well, obviously. So we'd have to just continue to dispute using the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and then we'll get it removed. Last but not least, question number seven, Navient. This account was paid off. I made a settlement offer and paid them. I was wondering if the whole Navient file could be deleted like I wanted the Reliant Energy file to be deleted also. Please review my credit report and let me know what you think about these seven questions. Thank you for your help and attention to these matters. Sincerely, Leah. Absolutely, so Navient, Department of Education and others, we get them removed because just because they're student loans and they're federal student loans, that does not mean that we can't get it removed from your credit report. We do this all the time. This is actually a very frequent thing that we do um, for our clients. So yes, yeah, so, so we can get them removed just like we get them removed for our other clients. So we'll definitely help you with that uh, surely. So I'm happy to be able to answer these questions for you. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us at credithealing at gmail.com. 
If you're ready to get started, go to www.credithealing.org. Peace.